Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a tasting on Whistle Pig's Rye Whiskey. So if you guys don't already know, I am a huge fan of rye whiskey. I like to try all of the rye whiskeys I can, especially if they're high proof and very, very spicy. So today we're gonna try Whistle Pig's 10 year straight rye whiskey. And this one goes for about $70 a bottle and we're gonna find out if it's actually worth it or not. So what's cool about Whistle Pig is that they basically saved a bunch of rye whiskey barrels from Canada that were going to be mixed into or blended into Canadian whiskey. And they bought a whole bunch of barrels, brought them down to Vermont and finished aging them in bourbon barrels. So you have rye whiskey finished in bourbon barrels and it gives it a very unique unique bourbony rye flavor which is awesome yeah i mean i i just poured two glasses right now and the smell is is it doesn't smell like rye whiskey it has like a sweeter note to it i'm pretty excited to try this for the first time um let's get to it dude let's do it i've had whistle pig before so you're gonna love it and if you don't i'll drink it for you <laughs> he's not lying it doesn't even like when you smell it it smells like sweet it doesn't smell spicy like no. like when you're when you have like a like a written house or a bullet rye you can smell the the, the pepper and the spice kind of coming yeah, off them. Yeah, it is a punch in the face. I get like a... The bourbon really, the bourbon barrels I think really mask the spiciness and give it that vanilla and like caramel flavor to it. Let's try it. But the spiciness is not masked. No, it's definitely bit. a rye. Definitely, in a good rye, it's very smooth. The heat comes on initially so there's a lot of spice, a lot of heat, and then it really like sweetens and mellows out, like, you know, get some caramel, some butterscotch, some toffee in there. This whiskey would be really awesome in an old fashioned or a Manhattan, because you would still be able to taste the spirit and it would come through very, very well. But it is probably a little bit of a waste to mix a $70 bottle of whiskey. Yeah. I mean, but if you've tried it a couple times and you have a bottle, Make it with an old fashioned, I'm sure it'll be phenomenal. Yeah. But it's also perfect, just sip. Personally, I recommend drinking it on its own. So at $70, this is more of your uh, luxury type of rye whiskey, because rye usually is a lot less expensive. Right. Um, this would be great as a gift. Maybe like a graduation or something that's that calls for like a, a better bottle of whiskey. Right, this I mean, definitely going to impress anyone who gets this as a gift, because once again, it's a very high quality bottle of whiskey. I mean, there are some what, 15 year old scotches that don't even cost seven, yeah. $70? Yeah, I mean, you might be looking at your birthday gift. <laughs> so overall, definitely worth checking out. I mean, if it's not in the budget, I would go for just a glass at a bar just to give it a shot, say you've had it, experience it, because it is a phenomenal whiskey to at least say you've had. And um, you know, if you like rye whiskey, give this video a thumbs up. If you had this, give this video a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. Don't forget to check out JensLounge.com. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Dude, on a scale of one to ten, what what do you what do you give us? Um honestly no bullshit. No bullshit? Like a seven. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm keeping in mind that it's a whiskey. I mean it's a rye. What does that mean? That, you know, there's not very many, I mean, I don't come across a lot of rice, dude. Do you come across a lot of rice? I mean. I mean, it's like I've said before, but it's really, really, it's really, really good. I think Hudson does one. I think it's Hudson. If you go to, like, to do, like, if you go to any, any, like, bar, I see, like, Bullet, Hudson. Okay, right. You, Sonoma County. Sonoma County. But well, Bullet's, kill, I mean, everywhere, but. Yeah. I think. This is there, too. Yeah, but I will sip this versus mixing it. Yeah, but like you make a cocktail with this, it's like twenty six dollars. You make a cocktail with with bullet, it's twelve. And for that reason, <laughs> it's not worth like yeah, yeah, yeah. like quality over price. I mean, either way, it's gonna get you pretty hammered.